In this video, I want to give you an overview of my Google Ads Notion template that you can get yeah, on my Gumroad. So starting from the top, first <laughs> disclaimer is that this template is tailored to manual search campaigns and display campaigns, not the automated ones, just because that's how I've learned uh, is the best way for best way to go for small to medium sized businesses. And it's good to be as, you know, manual as possible in the beginning to also learn. That is why this template is tailored towards that. And that's how I learned it in my masters. Yeah, so here you will be able to see the video I'm filming right now, just like a template overview. On the left here, you can see the activity log. It's just a data database and you can add new entries like this, uh, changed, um, budget let's say that and then like click done and as you can see the created time already creates here automatically and in the master view you can see all of your entries in the this month view you can see only entries from this month you can add notes you can also open this up as pages and you can add some screenshots for example if you are for example checking in on the performance of the campaign that's also how i do it um, if I'm doing a quick check-in, I can just take a screenshot and add it to the log, activity log. On the right here, you can see pages and shortcuts. I have campaign setup checklist and um, Google Ads library link to get inspired for your ads. Then underneath that, I have quick tasks, just like free checklists, checkboxes. I don't like to overcomplicate it um, in the setup. This is the main event, I would say, or one of the main events, campaigns and ad groups. So these are the campaigns. I try to keep the naming conventions pretty clean. So 001, search, and then the language, and then the campaign name. And if you untoggle this, you can see these are the ad groups. So campaign, ad group, ad group, campaign, ad group, ad group, <laughs> campaign, ad group. Uh, this is display, this is search, and you can toggle here future, not started, in progress, ready to publish, the daily budget as well. Here you can see the sum of the daily budget, how much you will be spending per day on average. The landing page URLs you can add here for the ad groups. You can add notes, you can add first launched on or like the or even the duration of the campaign as well. And the tracking template as well. This is just a template I've added. There are different views here, timeline view, board view, calendar view. Underneath that, I have audiences, and this is relevant for only for display campaigns. You can add your keywords, websites, um, apps for to build the audience that you um, want to show your display ads to. So here's also an example for a flower homeware shop. Underneath that, I have callout extensions, so just a text so that you have them stored somewhere because I know that, um, yeah, it's easy to lose things like this and it's good to have them stored in one place. Side link extensions as well, you can reuse them in all of your campaigns so it makes sense to store them somewhere safe <laughs> that you don't lose them. Um, also, what I wanted to mention in the campaigns and ad groups view, you can also open up these pages and when you're setting it up, like the campaigns, you can add screenshots of your setup here as well, which is also what I tend to do. Um, in the ad groups view, you can add your keywords, the search volume from Google Keyword Planner, the headlines and the descriptions so that you have them stored again here. If something happens, if you delete the campaign or the ad group by chance, you can restore it. Of course, you can also restore it in Google Ads, but sometimes you can't. It's very complicated. Google is not very easy to use um, Google Ads. So it's good to have backups, I find. It makes me sleep better at night. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Google Ads Planner. And I hope you enjoy using it and making it your own. And yeah, bye. <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know.